Hey guys, it's Michelle Green with Marstown TV today. And before you ask, no, I haven't changed careers, but I am here with my friend from a hundred years ago, Mr. Danny Case, and we're going to talk about a little piece of history here in town, the first fire truck. I personally wanted to get into the full effect, so they let me play. Anyway, Danny, thank you so much for, for talking with me. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the fire truck. Where are we? like I'm doing something. Where are we as far as, as getting it built, getting it to where you want it to be? As of right now, we got a complete rolling chassis, as you can see behind us, and we are planning on having it running and driving it as quick as we can. We got a motor that we're doing the motor mounts for right now, and hopefully, maybe by Christmas, we have it running. That's fantastic. I know you guys have put so much work in it. Of course, it's a slow, tedious process because you've got to wait on parts and things like that, correct? Yes, ma'am. Anytime we uh, go get parts, you just don't go down to AutoZone O'Reilly's get parts for a 100-year-old truck. You have to look on the internet, eBay, contact people, and just look. So again, it's a it's a it's a labor of love, right? Yes, yes. Well, well, let me ask you this. I I know basically why you're doing this with the fire truck, and I think it's pretty cool because, like everybody else in town, I've spent hours and hours playing on this little fell out at Cherokee Park. But what's your goal when you finish? getting it restored just the way you want it to be. What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to use it to teach fire safety, uh, kids day at the park, uh, Christmas parade to haul Santa Claus on, and just to save the history of the fire department. Well, my understanding, doing a little bit of research, you guys actually are a nonprofit organization, right, with this? So after you reach, like I said, what you want to do, are you going to maintain that status? Uh, yes, ma'am. We're going to keep our nonprofit status, and we still plan on having car shows every year to raise money to buy public education safety equipment for the kids, books, coloring books, uh, hats, uh, badges anything we need to teach fire safety with. I think that's wonderful. And again, besides car shows, I know you guys have all kinds of events going all year long, right? Uh, yes, sir. We do. Yes, sir. Okay, it's effective. I look like a guy. Yay. Okay, go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so my understanding is then, Danny, you guys are going to, you have, and you're going to continue having all kinds of fundraisers all throughout the year, right? Uh, yes, we have car, car shows. We do uh, chili luncheon. We just do anything to raise a dollar to... Uh, help restore the truck. Well, you know, again, now I've, I've heard this story, but for the one person in the world out there who has it, let's talk a little bit about the truck. How old is the truck? How did this come to be, to doing the fundraiser to restore it? In 1916, the city of Marshtown bought the truck for $9,000. They traded in three horse, ho horse carts and wagons to um, buy it. And, um, from there, it was in service to 1947 as a frontline truck. In 1947, it went into a reserve status, a secondary truck. From there, it, in 1955, it was in Centennial Parade. And 1956, it went into the Cherokee Park and sat out there for 50 plus years. About seven, eight years ago, we got it back and decided to restore it to teach fire safety. And once it's restored, we're going to use it for public education. Well, first off, I'm sure your history teacher is really proud of you because, boy, you know your history, at least with the truck. I can tell you've done your homework. Now, now tell me something. Again, you told me the year that this was made. Let's talk a little bit about the truck that's back behind. Let, let's do a little comparison between the two. Okay, this truck you see in the foreground is a 1916. The truck behind us is a 2005. It's our hazmat truck. We go out and do hazmat calls with any hazard materials. Well, no, but is it the same manufacturer, though? Uh, yes, ma'am. They are both made by American La France. I guess that could be one of those things you've come a long way, baby, right? Yes. Now, I know you said this initially was $9,000. Can you, you may know, but can you guess as to how much that one is? It was like 260000 I don't know what to say after that. That is unbelievable. Well, you know, Danny, again, as a person who has grown up playing on this truck, I think it's phenomenal what you guys are doing. You're preserving a little bit of history. And, and tell the viewing audience, give me a phone number, give me a website. If somebody's interested, a civic group or something, into jumping in on this fundraising wagon, so to speak, give me a number or something. Okay, we got the first fire truck fund. Uh, it is a on the Facebook page. It's my Marshtown First Fire Truck. You can go on Facebook and look it up on there. Well, I think that's fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was going to say something else. Well, you know, folks, again, this is history. We need to keep this going. Danny, to you and your guys that are putting so much into this, thank you so much. And to you, thank you so much for staying tuned to Channel 7 Marshtown TV today. We'll see you next time.